Hello and welcome to Glorified Gutsy Gaming. I'm Jake and today we are unboxing Agricola, the award-winning strategy game with wooden animals. The advanced level, lookout games. It's quite heavy. The revised edition, I guess, is what it's really called, but that's what we get. The 17th century, not an easy period for a farmer. It's for one to four players, 90 minutes, ages 12 and up. Players start the game with two family members living in a two-room two wooden house. In each round, each family member, each member of their family may choose one action. If they collect wood and reed, they can extend their house and then add to their family. Family growth allows additional actions, but has the disadvantage that more food must be produced. And to get food, the players plow fields and plant seeds. The planted grain and vegetables are harvested during the harvest when the animals breed as well. To raise animals, pastures must be fenced to allow sheep, wild boar, and cattle to graze. Occupations or improvements can ensure a family's upkeep. Each of these cards allows the player a small advantage in the game. Points are earned when players renovate their wooden house to a clay house, and later even to a stone house, but everything else to do with balancing food requirements or making everyday life a little more comfortable can earn points, especially family growth. Each game uses a different group of the 48 different occupation cards and 58 different improvements, ensuring that no two games are exactly alike. Some of the plastic is already ripped here, so let's just keep going. That sheep is so angry. That lady's face doesn't really look like it matches her skin tone on her neck. I see a lot of little wooden meeples here. All in colors. We got black, I guess, uh, light, or an off white and brown. Oh, well, we got people in that same wooden color that's light blue, red, purple. And we've got little building pieces. That looks like a house or a barn. And I have no idea what these are supposed to be. <coughs> we got bags for all that. Or for the cards, maybe. And the bottom must be the whole board. Oh, I got two books. Appendix. Oh, I actually see everything. So this has terms and phrases. Uh, I don't think there's anything worth exploring too much in here. An agricultural development game. Central Europe around 1670 AD. The plague which has raised, raged for centuries has finally been overcome. The civilized world is revitalized. People are upgrading and extending their simple wooden houses. Fields must be plowed, sowed, and harvested. People are living off millet gruel, bread, and vegetables. The famine of the previous years has also encouraged them to eat more meat, a habit that we continue to this day as our wealth is growing. In the end, the wealthiest player wins. Interestingly enough, animals that you do not eat contribute to your wealth. Oh, those, these tokens that I was looking at are grain, vegetable, 
crop and a starting token. Uh, and then some of them are wood, clay, reed, and stone. So they're a little mixed. What are we going to look at next? Game boards and tiles, markers, and cards last. There'll also be a scoring pad in there. Got our setup. General overview. A game of Agricola is played over 14 rounds. In each round, uh, you place each of your people on exactly one action space, taking the actions provided by it. The available actions are depicted on the game board. In clockwise order, you can take turns to place exactly one person on an action space until all players have placed all of their people. You will necessarily get in each other's way because each action space can only be used by one person in each round. Do not take your people back until all have been placed. Your goal is to gather food for your family and to develop your farm yard board so that it is worth a lot of points. This looks like a big hefty game. I'd probably call this a classic or a modern classic now that I have not played. Game end and winner. Oh, there's a solo game on here. The game ends at the 14th round after the final harvest. A table on the side of the game board shows you shows what you get for points at the end of the game, basically anything but food. The first line shows 0 to 1 field tiles are worth 1 negative point, 2 field tiles are worth 1 point, and 3 tiles are worth 2 points. In a similar fashion, you get points for pastures, grain, vegetables, and animals. And there's detailed scoring. This rule book is very floppy. Here's the score pad for all the different things you get points for. And this is what makes the box so heavy. Four player board, two player board. This looks like the game board with a side job thing there. Oh, extends. Some of our tokens. What's upside down? Market. More market. And then there's all those tokens. Our board. Nothing crazy to look at here. We got more tokens. Oh. <laughs> more of that board from before. And uh, we've got some cards to take a look at. cards, bales of hay, wheelbarrows. I know the other side has stuff on it, but I wanted to take a look at all the backs. We got a different yellow with a book on it. Looks like the game logo with the A on the front.
and the rest of this all the same. So I'm just going to flip it back over. Got an animal tamer. Conservator, hedge keeper, plow driver, adoptive parents, <laughs> stable architect, grocer, mushroom collector, rough caster, wall builder, site worker, seasonal worker, woodcutter, firewood collector, clay hut builder, frame builder, priest, braggart, harpooner, stone cutter, animal dealer, conjurer, lutenist, pig breeder, cottager, groom, assistant tiller, master bricklayer, scholar, organic farmer, tutor, consultant, sheep walker, manservant, oven firing boy, paper maker, childless, uh, what a qualifier for that one, small scale farmer, geologist, roof baluster, carpenter, house steward, green grocer, brushwood collector, storehouse keeper, pastor, sheep whisperer, cattle feeder, shifting cultivation, clay embankment, young animal market, drinking trough, rammed clay, hand plow, threshing board, sleeping corner, manger, big country, wool blankets, pond hut, milk jug, clay pipe, chunk room, basket, dutch windmill, corn scoop, large greenhouse, clearing spade, lumber mill, canoe, stone tongs, they look like wood, shepherd's crook, mini pasture, market stall, caravan, carpenter's parlor, mining hammer, mold board plow, Lasso, bread paddle, mantelpiece, bottles, loom, strawberry patch, herring pot, butter churn, brook, scullery, three field rotation, pitchfork, sack cart, bean field, thick forest, loam pit, hard porcelain, acorns basket, well, fireplace, fireplace, cooking hearth, Basket mark makers workshop, clay oven, stone oven, joinery, pottery, fencing, sheep market, grain utilization, major improvement, basic wish for children, western quarry, house redevelopment, pig market, vegetable seeds, cattle market, eastern quarry, urgent wish for children, cultivation, farm redevelopment. Oh man, this is going to be a monster farming game. But that is everything in the box and on the box of Agricola. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.